If you would like to visit sites that include videos or audio, your browser will need plugins as they will allow the video or audio to play correctly. In this video, you will see how to access and allow plugins and how to manage your plugin settings in Safari 10. To access your plugin settings, open your Safari preferences. To do that, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut command comma. And you need to make sure you're in your security preferences. The icon for your security preferences will look like an orange and black striped padlock. When you've opened your security preferences, go down to the last option, which is Internet Plugins. To allow plugins to work in your computer, click the white square on the left of the option Allow Plugins. To manage your plugins, click the button opposite the option called Plugin Settings. A window will open with a list of all the plugins installed on your computer on the left. When you select a plugin, for example, I have Adobe Flash Player selected, you can choose whether a website can use it or not. On the right side, I can see at the moment the page I have currently open, which is the BBC News website. And there is a drop down menu opposite the site where you can choose whether the website can use it or not. If I click the drop down menu, I have three options. Ask, so that the website will ask me if I want to allow the plugin. Off, the plugin won't work, or on, where the plugin will work without asking me. As my option is currently set to off, all the videos in the BBC News website won't work. However, it is important to note that the website might ask you to download a plugin when the setting is off. And this is an error as the plugin is just not activated. It doesn't need to be reinstalled. It might be a good idea to check your plugin settings before installing a plugin when it's not necessary. I'm going to select Ask now so that when I return to the BBC News website, I will be asked if I want the plugin to work or not. So I'm going to press Done in the bottom right corner of the window. And I'm just going to close my preferences by clicking on the red circle in the top left corner. It's a good idea when you have made a change to your plugin settings to refresh the page. Refresh the page you're on. To do this, I'm going to press the reload button on the right side of the address bar at the top of my window. And a drop down window has opened asking me if I want to trust this website to use the plugin Adobe Flash Player. I have the option never for this website to trust it or to choose not now. If I go back to my 